Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Gen Con 2015. I'm sitting down with Craig McRoberts of Greater Than Games, mm -hmm. and you've brought along designer Nat LeVan, mm -hmm. and this is your game, so I'm going to just let you take it right away. This is New Bedford. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, this is New Bedford. It is the game of historic whaling and town building set in New Bedford, Massachusetts in the mid-1800s. <laughs> uh, it's a worker placement game. It's pretty simple. You've got two workers for the entire game. But you only start with a limited number of actions available on the two boards here. Those actions can all be used multiple times per round, so you can place both of your workers on there and multiple people can go there. If you're the first person to go there in a round, you also get a bonus resource or uh, other bonus. You can gather resources and go to the town hall to build buildings which add extra actions into the game, but unlike the main boards, those are blockable and they can only be used once per round. By adding those extra actions into the game, the town grows, the industry gets uh, more powerful, and you're able to do a lot more stuff. The other thing that you do in the game is send your ships out whaling. You prepare your ships by going to the city pier, adding them to the dock, uh, excuse me, <laughs> adding them to the dockyard, <laughs> setting them on the dock, and then going to the city pier and sending them out to sea. Every round, the ships are going to move closer to shore and have a chance to draw a whale from the whaling bag. There's four types of whales in the bag. Cheap ones, regular ones, and then the most valuable and most rare sperm whales, which are worth a lot of points. They're free to add to your ship, but once your ship finally returns, then you're going to have to pay the lay and pay all those sailors for having done the work for so many years. You do that all 12 times, and at the end of the game, players earn points from all the whales they've caught, all the buildings they've built, and special buildings that earn extra points. Now, how many players does this support? Uh, right now, it's two to four out of the box with a fifth player expansion coming. There's 20 buildings in the basic game, and another 20 buildings that we've got uh, as an expansion on the Kickstarter, and uh, a little couple more extras just to throw in for fun. <laughs> Now, obviously, you guys are uh, still working on a prototype copy here. When do you think this is going to be uh, available? Uh, we, we've set our schedule out about a year in advance. We have, we have a pretty good track record of delivering early. So, uh, <laughs> like, I'm saying a year right now. <laughs> but we, we won't hold you to that. Right, <laughs> right. The hope is to be early on that. Because that's a long time. Yep. <laughs> How long do you think a, a full game would take us if we were going to play this? Uh, once you are familiar with the rules, uh, it's about a 60-minute game with four players. Oh, fantastic. Well, I, I hope you don't need to. Uh, uh, definitely will be interested, even if you're not a fan of New England. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys want to check that out, that's going to be on New Bedford, which is going to be published by Greater Than Games. Yes, indeed. Thank you both. Thank you.